Peace and love, beautiful people watching through this screen. Today, I want to make a quick video talking about the news. And this is like mainly dedicated to like my old heads out there because I know old heads love that news so much. Like, mm, y'all love that news. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, I'm, I'm going to give you like a breakdown of what I think about the news and how it's just so. It's just like really just damaging us psychologically, like so heavy, whether you realize it or not. So yeah, I'm gonna start out by saying, like, when it comes to the news, why is it that like, why is it that like breaking news? Why does the breaking news have to be based off of fear, tragedy, trauma, sadness, and anger? Like, why can't breaking news be something happy? Like, why can't breaking news be, like, a celebration? Why can't breaking news be, like, something something good that happened? Like, why is it something tragic? Like, somebody just died or some, somebody got mugged or or accident or crash or something. Like, why is that considered breaking news? Who says that that has to be considered breaking news? <laughs> right? <sighs> so, yeah. I, I I wrote I wrote everything down. So if you see me looking like a little bit like that's why I'm looking at my notes and stuff. But yeah, who says that these just emotions and situations have to be highlighted news? You feel what I mean? Like who says that? Who says that? Like an accident has to be highlighted news? Like why does it gotta be breaking news? Why? <laughs> and why do we need to know this? <laughs> why do we need to know that somebody got mugged? So why do, why do we need to know that that it was an accident? It was a crash. Like why do we need to know this? Why do we? It's not that it, I'm not saying it don't matter, but it's like what does it have to do with me? Like what does it have to do with me at all? How does that affect my life or anybody's life? Doesn't it just only affect the 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 victim like doesn't only affect them like why does it what does it have to do with me why are you telling me this like why are you telling me this what does it have to do with me i'm all the way over here that whole situation or event or whatever is happening all the way over there i don't even know where but it's happening all the way over there so it's like what does it have to do with me or my family or anybody like what does it have to do so and also all right so what i was reading i was reading um this book i was reading about <clears throat> i was reading about this tribe and basically um it's this tribe i believe from like uh like columbus or something and they're called like the kojis and one of the tribal members, they came over here for the first time, right? And they saw all this AI, this artificial intelligence, technology, and, you know, um, TV and stuff. And you know what they said about it? <laughs> you know what they said about TV? TV? TV is the true mind masturbators. <laughs> TV are mind masturbators. That's what TV is. And that's facts, cause it really f with your mind. Like it really f with your mind heavy. Like TV really, it, it really just f's with everybody mind. This median, it impacts us all psychologically, whether you notice it or not. It, it they're triggering us psychologically, emotionally they're triggering us. Like it's always something sad, something fearful, or something or something just tragic. So. They would they would sit there and tell you like oh this person somebody just died and it's just like why do I need to know that people die all the time animals die plants die people are alive right now why isn't why isn't it on the news that people are alive people travel all the time people get to point A to point B safely all the time it's rare that an accident happens. It's, I'm not saying, like, yes, they happen, but it's rare, though. It's more common that we get to point A to point B in one piece and safe and safeliness. But yet, 
the highlighted news is this tragedy. You feel what I mean? Flying. I, I just got off a flight. But that wasn't on the news that my flight landed safely. They're going to put on the news that one flight that just, the whole wing just fell off or something. Like, why we got to know that? These situations, events, and people have absolutely nothing to do with us. Like, I hope y'all realize that it has nothing to do with you. If they sit there and tell you that an accident just happened, all that's doing is installing there it's like it's like when they tell you something like that it's like they're putting their trauma onto you it's like now you're carrying that burden of what somebody just went through like somebody just got mugged now you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna trigger you emotionally like you're gonna be like oh, oh my goodness somebody just got mugged like that's how you gonna be and it's like you feel it's like you're gonna feel what that person was just feeling from and also the tone that they tell you in it as well. Because this is a certain way that they could tell you what happened. Um, they could, it's a certain tone that they could tell you what happened. So it's like, let's say for example, so I could sit here and I could take like a um, I don't know, I could take this and I could I could cut my I could cut myself with this right, and I could just casually say, well, well I cut myself, or I could be like, ooh. I, I can tell you I'm in agonizing pain. I could be crying. I could be like, oh my God, I come myself. And you watching, you could be like, oh, like, okay. The first time I just said I cut myself, you, you probably just going to be like, oh, she just cut herself. But then if I tell you that I cut myself in just this, just really just sad tone, you're going to, you're going to feel that. Like, you're going to feel that. Like, you're going to. My trauma, you finna feel that because how I'm how I'm depicting it to you, like you're gonna feel that, like oh wow, this person's in so much pain, like oh I could hear I could hear her suffering, you know what I mean, like and that's how they talk to y'all too, like they talk to y'all in that tone where it's just like, it's like you just going, you just gonna feel it, like that's what they want, they want you to feel that, they want you to feel that trauma, they want you to feel that sadness, they want you to feel that anger. They want you to feel all of these emotions. That's what they want because they're harvesting your energy. They're harvesting your energy. So that's why I say turn that news off because it's not serving you anything. It's not like it's just serving you trauma. <laughs> that's all it is. It's trauma and mind masturbation. That's all it is. And it has nothing to do with you. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it has nothing to do with you. The news did not exist hundreds of years ago. Our ancestors was not watching the news. Like, who says we got to watch this? We don't have to watch this. You don't have to know about somebody, somebody else's life. What somebody else is going through. You don't have to know about that. It has nothing to do with you. That's how they control you. Like, when they... When they talk in that manner as well, like, you know what I mean? You could use the news as a tool, or you could use it as a, I don't know, to just harvest your energy. Because you're either using it as a tool, or you're just letting it harvest your energy. So be mindful, and turn that shit off. <laughs> Peace, I love you.